How would you like to learn how to do in-camera cropping with your Alpha 1? Let's get into it. There are lots of reasons to do in-camera cropping. For one thing, we can't wait till we get home and to our computer to show and share our pictures with other people. Instagram is a square, these cameras shoot in 2-3, so there's a real easy way to do this. A lot of people don't realize that there's a built-in cropping feature inside the Alpha 1. It also makes a copy of the image that you want to crop so you don't lose your original, which is stellar. In this way, we can share images in the correct proportion instantly from the camera, right to our phones and then onto social media. This is a big benefit for pros like me, but also tons of amateurs as well. So I'm just gonna press the menu button. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide down to the playback, the blue playback button. Now we're gonna to go to the right and we're gonna go down to edit, which would kind of make sense. And there you're gonna see, if you go to the right one, you're gonna see the crop function. Hey, if you're in the middle of watching this Alpha One video, maybe consider subscribing if this has been good for you. That's it, end of commercial, continue. So from the edit menu, I'm gonna go over to crop and I'm gonna to go to the right again. And this is gonna show me the last picture that I've got in my camera. So here are a bunch of photographs that are in there. I'm gonna pick this one just because. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the center button, the kind of the enter button. And then I can zoom either with um, the wheel on the back of the camera. I can zoom with the, uh, what I would call the aperture control in the front of the camera. Uh, whatever I want to do. And then I can use the joystick to recrop at will. And that actually looks pretty good. Um, so I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to show you one other thing though. Right above the AF on button is that wheel that can do, it's like a multifunction wheel. And if you change that wheel, you can actually change the uh, proportion, which is really cool. So if you're shooting for a website that's got a 16.9 hole for all images, you can shoot 16.9. If you're shooting for Instagram, then you could, of course, recrop. It just depends what you're doing. If you're going to do a magazine cover and you're trying to show an art director what's going on, here's 4.3 in the uh, landscape format. If you keep scrolling, it'll say 3.4, and that's going to give you the landscape for your magazine cover. So you leave plenty of room for the masthead up top and then the UPC code in the bottom, et cetera, et cetera. Then you just hit crop and there's your crop. Now, when you reset and you hit the play button, the first image that's gonna come up in playback on the camera is gonna be the one you cropped and the one right before it is gonna be the one that you cropped from. So you're not destroying anything here. That's what's really important to know. Um, and so this is a great way to share immediately images uh, that we're shooting on assignments or games or whatever. It's a fabulous way to kind of uh, uh, help preview for art directors without actually forcing the camera into 4.3. You can stay in 2.3 and get all the pixels you can get, in this case 50. If we go to the suitcase, from the crop mode. Uh, just bear with me a second. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Operation Customize, Custom Key Setting. What you're going to see is the possibilities, and there's two pages to this. What we want is the second page, and I'm going to actually use uh, two. Um, and if you, if you see, I have crop set as the two button. So what that means is that when I'm um, when I'm in the camera and I'm looking around, here's my, here back to my still images again, okay? Uh, let's say I wanna go and crop this image. All I do is hit the C2 button and it forces me right into that instantly. And remember, I can change, if I wanna make this uh, 16.9, I can do that in vertical or horizontal. And I kinda like this better. That looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and commit to that. Boom, done. So I hope this has helped you. This is a great uh, benefit to me. I really enjoy being able to just at will crop an image in camera and know that I'm not messing anything up. I hope this has been helpful to you. I love the Alpha One and how big it is inside. Um, it's not just a big file and a fast camera, but um, 
it's so advanced and it's hard for any one person to know everything about the camera. I hope that these videos are helping you to learn how I'm using it and maybe they'll help you to use it in the same way. I'm Pat Murphy Racy, Sony Artist of Imagery, saying thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like my content. Thank you.